Welcome back to another episode of Ref Guest. This one is brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. And guys, if I have my scheduling right, because we're a little bit far out, the Yankees and the Padres play this week. It's going to be the Juan Soto Bowl, a big trade that happened this last offseason. It got me thinking about trades in general because a ton of good players have been traded a bunch of times in their career. So I picked out three players that have been traded at least five times times in their career for our collection of players today. So that's who's going to be getting guest in this episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the JM Baseball channel. Let's go. Good to be back. Dalton cool. held his own filling in for me. I think I would have gotten Nick Johnson. Oh, wow. That's All right. good. No shots fired, Dalton. I love you. So we, we're starting Milwaukee. Uh, some shortstop third pace. Flip to the Padres, flip to the Marlins. Man, what a career. It always ends with the Mets, doesn't it? Milwaukee, San Diego, Florida, Dodgers, Atlanta, New York, New York, New York, Detroit, Detroit, Detroit New York, Mets. So he's a shortstop for the Yankees. That's a silver slugger. <laughs> Right fielder for the Yankees. Oh, this is a long career for this guy. Look at him. He started in Mawak Town and then went to San, <laughs> San Diego. Let's turn the hat backwards so that we can think. Oh, boy. We're starting in the 80s. That's not good for me. This is a right fielder for the most part. Milwaukee, San Diego, Florida, L.A., 2008 with Detroit. Wow, 22 year career. Bounced around quite a bit. Came up at 19, huh? Orleans for a while, Dodgers for a little bit. Brief Braves that I just throw away. 500 home runs. Can you believe that? They spent some time with the Yankees. Have you seen this? Then he went to Florida. From Florida, he went to the Dodgers. Okay, so he was on the championship team for Florida. Arnons. Hmm. Became a Yankee in 2004. Hell of a batting stance on this guy. I feel like he was like one of the first players when I was young, even when I wasn't like totally following baseball yet, that I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that guy looks pretty silly. But hey, he hit 509 home runs. Oh, no. MVP candidate in three, four, and five with Atlanta and New York. Started his career at shortstop third base. And that's what might be giving it away because this is easy. And if it's who I think it is, it's super easy. But the Milwaukee is throwing me off. I'm going to be honest. Yankees for a bit and MVP candidacy year. Tigers for a minute. Uh, This guy. What a bat waggle. Iconic. No one else has done that. Like, a lot of people have played baseball. Mm -hmm. Only one person's ever done that, and they've hit 500 home runs. Yeah. This guy should probably be a Hall of Famer. Um, this gentleman is not Justice Sheffield, the pitching prospect the Yankees traded for James Paxton. It is Gary Sheffield. Is, is this Gary Sheffield? This Gary Sheffield. Gary Sheffield Sr. This is Gary Sheffield. Oh, 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 yeah. Only one that's going to get it without saying it. <laughs> Mark it down. Double the points. But you have to say it. I did. Jack will be so upset. He likes to do a little sequence of everyone I, saying it at the same time. I did it. I did it. Gary Sheffield Sr. I do like Gary Sheffield. Ha! Scary Sheffield. He played Phil Milwaukee. Yeah, I don't really have that in my book. I mean, it's the if 80s, you if you just yeah. block Milwaukee, boom, yeah, I get it in a second. Easy. But I yeah. take Milwaukee, my hand away, and I see Milwaukee, and I'm like, oh no! If it wasn't for the shortstop yeah. secondary, I would, I probably would have froze up on Milwaukee there. Finish! Quick interruption on today's Ref Guest video to thank today's sponsor, which is the DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, you can use promo code JMBaseball, bet $5, and get a no-sweat bet up to $1,500 on their app right now. There are a ton of things to bet on. NBA basketball winding down, MLB baseball in full swing, football just around the corner. So take advantage of this offer and start your sports betting career with the DraftKings Sportsbook. Use promo code JMBaseball when you do it and get that sweet no-sweat bet. It's only going to cost you a $5 deposit. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's episode of ref Guess. now let's get back to the action medium Fly. medium medium another yankee jolly what are you doing it's where all the greats end up it was a philly an astro a national league astro 
This is a picture. Okay, just seen it. Just seen it. <laughs> then he was in Toronto. He was traded from Toronto to the Yankees. Starting Phillies to Houston, Toronto, to Seattle, to Pittsburgh, to Toronto, to the Yankees. That's going to be my biggest hint, and I do think I know this this young man. Started his career as a Philly, got traded to Houston, then went to Toronto, Seattle, Pittsburgh. I think this guy shares a last name with a certain podcaster who works for us who also plays baseball in his free time. Started with the Phils in 08 as a pitcher. He's a rookie pitcher on the 2008 team that bounced around a lot. 4-1 tree ERA. Holy guacamole. What's that last year? Minnesota St. Louis? Is this a reliever or a starter? Starting pitcher. If this guy's coming from Toronto, 2019. Because 2018 electric down the stretch. Get a game one start that doesn't go great he got hand foot and mouth disease like months earlier so you got to cut him you got to you got to cut him some slack there for that game one performance dude like three months ago he had hand foot and mouth disease and that's the reason I know that disease. Uh, originally, uh, Oswald came to my head, but I don't think he ever played for the Yankees. But just the uh, Houston Philly, which is, I think he did it in reverse anyway. This guy was a 2009 Philly. I didn't know he came second in Rookie of the Year that year. Good for him. Still lost to the Yankees in the World Series. Ha! Got into an argument with Brian Cashman over, like, they were purposely pushing off his start so that the option wouldn't invest. He got kind of messy. Wow, was he still pitching in 2021? There's honestly two guys that come to mind, though. There are two guys that come to mind. You know which two? Yeah. Kyle Kendrick and J.A. Happ? Yep. Don't ever, ever try to get my guy past me. Could this, is this, uh, not Happ? I thought um, I thought it was because the thing is, is that I know he was on Toronto. The problem is, is that this guy was didn't Play for Philly. Joe's. Look at the top of the sheet. Ah, yeah, but j did not play for the Astros. We know this. Twins first, sec, Cardinals first, second. Second place, rookie of the year. A Cy Young six does ring a bell. I do think this guy gets kind of a bad rap in like Yankees world for how it ended. When the Yankees got this guy in 2018, he was awesome down the stretch. He was like a really, really, really good pickup for them. Um, and then he was just bad in the playoffs. I remember he was like, on the mound physically shaking and then Aww. the next pitch he threw Mookie hit for a three-run homer that's and it was sad. like yeah that sucked um but this is Jay Happ okay so this guy was with Toronto oh this is Jay Happ I believe that this is Jay Happ 2018 talking Yanks is new ha trade deadline here comes seven and oh 269 ERA and 11 starts Jay Happ this would be Jay Happ um Joe's McFly he did win 20 games. I think you're trolling me. Is this Jonathan Anderson Happ? <laughs> like, that's the, not how it's not his name. That's not <laughs> you're lying. <laughs> Jonathan Anderson Happ? That's, if that's his name, that, that's the dumbest name I've ever heard. <laughs> James Anthony Happ is correct. I was close. He he's goes by initials, but you just like don't say him. Not J.A. Happ. Not J.A. Happ. J.A. Happ. Important distinction. You would want to call him J.A. Happ. I do call him J.A. and I got in trouble. You are correct. He was a solid lefty for a little bit. Nice depth guy to have on your team. Finish! Hard. Hard is hard. Time to get hard. Hard. Wow. No awards. A 15-year career where he wasn't a starter, he was a reliever. You gotta have a long career to get traded that many times, huh? This guy closed out a few games. Early on with Houston, we're throwing innings. God, low whip. Okay, this guy started as a Met in 99. Is this a, this is the pitcher. Then he went to the Astros National League. Then he was in Oakland. Is this a reliever? This is a lot of teams. 15 years, pretty much straight reliever. Um, some Yankees action. I feel like I would probably remember this guy or Tigers at the end that the Yankees faced that team in the playoffs. Was like a closer at points, but never really like a closer closer. Yeah, most saves was 21 in half a season, then got traded, then cut, then traded. How'd this guy end up on the Rockies at the end of that season? <laughs> Kooky baseball reference page. All right, what do we got? We starting in 99 with the Mets as a pitcher, then went to Houston. Houston, Oakland, New York, Kansas City, Atlanta, Chicago, Pittsburgh, LA, Colorado, Toronto, St. Louis, and Detroit. Oh my goodness. This is giving me like 
Edwin Jackson vibes right here, but there's no Washington on here. Another pitcher, are you kidding me? One year Yankee. I hate the name that came to my head because there's no way you did that. What name? Sydney Ponson. No, I did not do Sydney. That's <laughs> insane. 13 different teams. Oakland during some of the fun times. New York Yankees, bad. Royals, good. Is this like a hard, hard? White Sox, good. We're not closing. We're good. Jesus, 2010 with three teams. Toronto, St. Louis in 2011, which I think that's a big year for St. Louis. Ton of teams. Yankees in 06 reliever. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I mean, is this Phil Cokehead? He played for a lot of teams. He did play. This guy played for the Yankees in 06. But see, the problem is I think Phil, Phil Coke pitched in the 2009 Yankees. So this is not Phil Coke. 2006 Yanks and pitched horribly. What is this? I'm usually not someone who's like, oh, it's a pitcher, blah, blah, blah. But like, yep, whatever. Sorry, Joe's shots fired. But this guy, I'm looking at this and there's not a ton calling out to me as like, this can help me identify this player other than the teams. There's one name that's coming to mind. It's Jason Fraser. Okay. Fraser? Fraser? Forget how it's pronounced. Not confident in it. No awards either. Pitching this long with no awards is kind of impressive. 2008 White Sox. Who else was in that rotation with Mark Burley that bounced around? Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's a reliever. What am I talking about? There's a reliever. Who was on that pitching staff? Who was the, was he a closer on that team? No, he was a middle reliever on the White Sox and then went to Pittsburgh and saved some games. Starting Mets, Houston for some time. Reliever. It's good to check off. Collecting some saves. But like actually, who, who is this cat? Thumbs up at 25. Think about your relievers. 06 Yankee, I like should have, but that was 10 innings and they were bad. That should be like an awesome hint for me. This guy put together two good years on the White Sox. There's a good A's year. It's a nice run in Houston. That's that's true. No saves as a Yankee. 11 with the Royals. Okay, so there's a couple guys. It's not Edwin Jackson, who famously played on a lot of teams. I mean, Latroy pitched on a ton of teams. I don't know if these are the teams I would have. And I think Latroy's more pitched more recently than this. Yeah, because he pitched on the Twins, too. There's a little bit of a blind spot. Let's see. 2000 Houston. 2006 Yankee. Don't think I would really remember him for that. We don't want to talk about what happened that year. Hmm, trying to think of that 2012 Tigers bullpen. Valverde was the closer. Uh, and who else was there? Astros closer. It's not like Edwin Jackson. It's so many short stops. 83 games, 76 games back-to-back -back years. No wonder he only lasted 14 games for the Yanks. I'm probably getting too hung up on the Yankee, but that's in the Yankees year, but that's just like, I feel like that's my best chance for it to come to me. Somehow these save numbers add up to over 100. Just catching a couple every year. Let's play 2013 Detroit. Let's try to think about who, who, who these trades could have been, I guess, is, is a place to start. 15 years. Year. I, I feel like I'm the most stumped. Every time I feel like I'm getting close to a guy, I'm, uh, I am I eliminate them and get further away. I think I'm out. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got all the old reliever names going through my head. It's not... I'm a, I'm a generation off right now. Like, I'd Fernando Rodney pitch on every team, but that's later. Yeah, this is my weakness. I, the relievers get me. Yeah. I need the handedness and, like, handedness and nationality all escape me on this. That I, I might have to eat it on this one. Um, I'll throw out a guess. This is Troy Hawkins. I have a guess. I don't know if it's right. I hope that it's right because I need it, but I really don't know. I'm going to take a guess and I'm going to say, is this Oliver Perez? I think I have somebody. The only person that I remember with this, I don't remember him as a Met. He hurt a lot, huh? Could this be Octavio Dotel? Oh, 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 oh. This is Mr. Octavio Dotel. So you would want to say the reliever that everyone says all the time, but he wouldn't be hard, right? Dotel? That's not... Is it him? Yeah. Octavio Dotel is correct. Hey, that got a couple people. No way. I think you're selling yourself a little short. Really? Well, because he's, he's like a big trivia. My whole thing was like, okay, everyone always says him in trivia. Can you actually recognize his page? And you did. Yeah. Yeah. He's Octavio Dotel. Dotel is 06? Octavio Dotel. Dotel's a very good guy. You met him? No. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> but I mean, like in the sense of like he was always on a team. Yeah. Octavio Dotel. No. Okay. No, I'm not hurt by that right. at all. I think the only reason that I not the like whatever. I think I would have gotten there eventually. Sure. But we were filming the Yankees Red Sox player like players to play for both of them short. And Joe's lost on Octavio Dotel. And I yep. immediately said wrong because in my mind, I was like, oh, he wasn't a Yankee. And Joe's was like, yeah, he was. And I was like, oh, and I checked and indeed he was. But he was never a Red Sox. Nope. It's not all. Ah, oh, man, it's Octavio Dotel. Octavio what, Dotel. what a name. Octavio <laughs> Dotel. Ba- a baseball name right there. Finish! Well, we arrive at the trivia round. A lot of our players couldn't get Octavio Dotel, so it'll just be three players competing in the trivia round, and it's a straightforward one. One question, one answer, one guess for our players. I'm asking them, who is the most traded player of all time in MLB history? This player has been traded 10 times in their career, one minor league trade, nine MLB trades, and they're still active. Those are the clues that these players get. Let's see if they can get the right answer. Active right now? Oh, uh, you would guess a relief pitcher. 10 times is a lot of times. I don't know. Emilio Pagan has been traded a ton of times, but it's not him. That's not 10. He hasn't played long enough to be 10 times. It's got to be a reliever that like gets around and on the older side too, but not like a lockdown closer, but they have to be older. D-Rob, no, I don't think he's been traded that many times. I'm trying to think of old relievers that aren't closers. Um, Joe Kelly comes to mind, but I don't know if he's been traded. He's signed some contracts. Sergio Romo, but is he still playing? I don't think so. Brad Hand, he's been around and traded a decent amount of times. Kimbrell's been traded, but he signed some contracts and he finished out. Melanson got traded a lot. He's not playing anymore, though. It's going to pain me because I know that like 10 times is fucking significant. I think I don't know. I think I could search forever and I think eventually it would click. Mm. But I don't know if it's worth anyone's time for me to do that. The most traded player in MLB history was traded 10 times. Well, let me go through the teams real quick. This could be a reliever. It could be a starting pitcher. I'm probably going to lean on reliever. Uh, Starting pitchers don't get traded that much. And I don't know of a starting pitcher that gets traded that much. Oh, my God. There's so many relievers. So this guy's a vet, then. I don't know if this person, I have one person in my mind that I'm thinking about. And this guy was a former Yankee. Now he was a Yankee, he was a Ray, he was a Met, he was a a Yankee when he first started. He was setting up for Mariano Rivera. Is it David Robertson? It is not David Robertson. (sighs) Um, I feel like I should know this guy immediately. I've, it's interesting that like this isn't either this isn't commonly known and should be or it is and I'm just blanking and dumb. Ten times active player who's been traded ten times. The first guys that come to mind are just the, like the Rich Hills and Edwin Jacksons that have played for a lot of teams. Right now I'm trying to think of like Yankees. Like if this guy was traded to ten teams, one in three chance he was a Yankee at some point. So, oh, I think I know who this is. The name coming to mind is Jesse Chavez. Like has played for a lot of teams, but has come back to a lot. He's been traded to the Braves. Like he, like he gets traded to the Braves every 15 minutes, yeah. basically. I don't think it's going to come to me if it's not this guy. I'm guessing Jesse Chavez. You are correct, yeah. Max. A perfect Good to be episode. back. Good to be back. Sneaky, difficult trivia question. Yeah. I feel like... I don't know. I don't think that's immediately going to come to mind for a lot of people. Well, Max is the only man of the crop this week to get a perfect score and collect those five points, and that moves him back into first place ahead of Jake Storielli. What a race for the crown it has been so far. Max reclaims the lead after being in second place for a few weeks there. Let's see if he can hold that lead into next week's episode. So speaking of which, tune in next Thursday for another episode of Ref Guess. If you enjoyed this episode, leave us a like, leave us a comment, consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.